No, you weirdos. Panspermia has nothing to do with pans or sperm. At least not as we traditionally know them. Instead, think about the Greek meaning of the word. Panspermia translates literally to seeds everywhere. But how do these two concepts combine to blow your mind? Speaking of blowing, this theory bears a striking resemblance to dandelions and how just one blow of the wind can spread its seeds all over. There is another completely different type of organism on this planet that has spread its spores around the world. These little guys are everywhere. I'm talking volcanoes, Antarctica, high in the sky, and even outer space. These micro warriors, extremophiles, are the most durable life forms on the planet. Fun facts, right? But your mind isn't blown yet. I can tell. Listen to this. Because bacteria can survive so well in so many settings, it is possible that the bacteria that are proven to be ancestors of all life on Earth didn't actually come from Earth at all. So where could they have come from? Well. Mars surface from a few billion years ago suggests it had suitable conditions for life. So bacteria may have originated there. Then Mars could have experienced a cosmic event, like a massive meteor strike, which hurled chunks of it into outer space, and some of those chunks, teeming with tough bacteria, may have landed on baby Earth. So we may all be descendants of Martians. Variations of the theory hypothesize that intelligent aliens shot bacteria our way to fertilize planet Earth. I wonder why they'd do that. Maybe we're just all lab rats in a massive experiment done by a super intelligent alien race. Now obviously we can't prove this theory, but it is a fascinating way to string our current knowledge together. If your mind was blown at least once, share, like, comment. If not, then you're boring.